Till one, the coaching brief and contract. What you're about to see is Ro, who is a manager, about to take her step up to become a director, being coached on her gravitas, her visibility and her confidence. So Ro, it's great to finally meet you and I know we had a brief telephone conversation. Yes, yes. What I'd like to do today is to really establish sort of a contract between us okay. and talk about what you're hoping to get from the coaching and to discuss some of your background. Okay. But before we do that, I'd just like to reiterate some of the things that we said about confidentiality. Okay. Okay. What goes on in our coaching sessions will not be discussed with anybody outside of our coaching sessions, i.e. your manager or the HR department. Um, it may well be that the actions that are agreed get fed into your development plan, which is something we'll talk about later. Okay. But our discussions are between us. Okay, so really I've got control over how much information gets given to either my manager or HR and I can decide what actions go into my development plan. Absolutely. Okay. What I'd like to do, first of all, is to find out from you, how were you nominated for coaching? Um, well, it was a bit strange, actually. My, my manager gave me some feedback, and he, the feedback that he gave me was that um, I needed more gravitas, and also that I, I wasn't very visible in the organisation, so that was making it quite difficult for me to influence things. Um, and really that's as much as he said and then he said so you know I've I suggest that you have some coaching um, and that we've got Gillian who's going to to coach you so it, there was some feedback but I didn't really get behind what the feedback was you know where it came from what it was about okay um, so as I understand it from your manager you're being considered for the next step up which would be a jump from manager to director yeah. And you say the feedback you've had is about your gravitas and your visibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you think of any examples or reasons why this may have been um, something that they want you to work on? Possibly my style is very um, introverted and I, I tend to like to think about things and reflect on things. So I, I, I don't make decisions very quickly. Um, so it, it may be something to do with that. Possibly. Okay. And with your introverted style, how would your manager have observed this, do you think? Um, well, I guess mainly meetings uh, and possibly um, in the office in general. Um, I've got an office of my own and I, I, you know, I, I like to get into the detail of things um, and I like to be able to think things through and plan them thoroughly. So I guess they've observed me um, on a day-to-day -day basis as well.